This is longest consecutive subsequence, where we want to find the length of the longest consecutive sequence in an unsorted array of integers. In this case, our aim is to try and solve this with minimum complexities of o n time and o n space. Our problem statement explains that we're given an unsorted array of integers, and our task is to find the length of the longest sequence of consecutive elements in the array. We want to understand how to identify and count consecutive elements efficiently. We are also asked to write an algorithm that runs in o n time. Your options for an optimal solution here are a hash set plus linear scan, b hash set plus free passes, c dynamic programming, or d sorting plus linear scan. I'm going to pause for a few seconds while you think about the best method. So for those of you who recognize the most optimal solution, congratulations. And for those of you who just want to see the code and method, the answer here is the hash set plus linear scan approach, that is A. We have a brute force solution available within our application. Let's take a look. So the brute force approach would involve iterating through each element in the array and then checking how far it can extend in both directions to form a consecutive sequence. Obviously, this would have far from ideal time complexity, as high as O n cubed. However, we do have a more optimal solution which uses that aforementioned hash set and linear scan. So to walk through this briefly, we use a hash set to store all of the unique numbers from our input array nums. Then we perform a linear scan through nums to find the starting point of each consecutive sequence, or each potential consecutive sequence. By checking if the previous element, val minus one, is present in our hash set, we can identify the start of a new consecutive sequence. We keep track of the length of each sequence and update the answer with the maximum length found. So let's look at that once more, going through the code line by line. We start by initializing a variable, sz, to store the size of our input array. We also create an unordered set called myset, and this will store all the unique numbers from the nums array. We do so by using this insert function and a for loop, inserting each element into myset. We then initialize a variable answer. This keeps track of the maximum length of the consecutive sequence found. After that, We've got a second loop. Here we're iterating through nums once more. This time we're checking each element to determine if it marks the start of a consecutive sequence. You can see in line number 11, if the previous element, val minus one, is present in my set, we're going to just continue to whatever the next element in nums is as it indicates that the current element is not the start of a new sequence. And if you need to understand why, you should run a debug mode on this solution. In any case, if the previous element is not present, we can start counting the length of the consecutive sequence, starting with line 14, where we initialize len to zero. Using a while loop, we increment val uh, as well as len, and we check if the incremented value is present in the myset. If val is still present in myset, as indicated by line 15, we increase the len by 1, and we increment val, of course. After we exit the while loop, we compare the current length that we found, which should be a set of, cons well, it's the length of a consecutive sequence, and we compare that length with whatever our answer is, maximizing between the two, and updating answer 
if necessary. After all of that, and after we've iterated through the entire nums array, we can return the maximum length of the consecutive sequence found. So, that is one more problem solved using coding card sharp. We've used one of these four methods to try and solve the longest consecutive subsequence problem, certainly one of the most attempted and liked problems on LeetCode. And if you've been paying attention, you should realize which one of these four methods is going to be used. It is the hash set and linear scan. Again, if you need an explanation as to why, this is something you can pause and read in your own time, or hopefully the application will already be released and you can check it out there instead. If you need further help, you also have this C++ solution, which should be familiar. And we've also done the same in Python and Java, if you prefer those more popular languages. If you're still really struggling, you can always click on this YouTube video and really you'll be entering the same thing once more, but I don't recommend it. I think once is enough. If you still need further help, then Dr. Ibrahim offers a more visual explanation and a much more knowledgeable explanation in this course. Um, you can find this in the description of the video. So that's, that's all for this problem. The next one that we'll be tackling in this series is going to be missing number, one of the easier problems. Thanks very much for watching.